glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. As we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we all know you. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. We give you glory. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, Father, we give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, you are my soul does magnify the Lord, and my spirit prays for the holy party. Jesus is love. Oh, oh, that Jesus is Lord. My soul, my soul. God's my Lord. And my spirit praises Jesus Lord. For all even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. In my heart, Jesus is Lord. Anointing, yes, Lord, for me. Anointing, for me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost, me. Sing it one more time. I know. I know. I Let's just give him praise this morning. Let his anointing fall upon us this morning. 
Thank you. 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 Thank under your power, we know that is being used upon us, O Lord. We magnify your name for the manifestation power of our life. O Lord Almighty, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you honor. We accept and commend by you, O Lord, we move on our life. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you are doing in our lives. O Lord, we exalt you this morning. We, we thank you for all the praises. We lift we your name thank you high. for your enablement. All the we thank you for this morning, Lord. We thank you thank for you grace. Lord. You are making available. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for counting us thank worthy. You, Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord. to come into your presence. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. You are yes, worthy. Lord. Yes, you are Lord. worthy. Thank you are you. worthy. You are worthy, Father. Hallelujah. Yes, let's just Glory lift his eyes. Name. Now let's lift him all high. We lift, we lift your name. this morning, Father. We lift your name, Aya. We, we lift, lift your, your name, Aya. We, we lift your name, name, name Aya. Let's lift him high. We, we lift your name, Aya. We lift your name, Aya. We lift your name. We lift your name higher. Thank you this morning for lifting. We lift your name higher. Just, just lift up his mind. Lift up his name over those circumstances. Lift up his name over the trouble. Lift up his name over that problem. Lift up his name over that problem. Lift up his name over that financial situation. Lift up his name over all the sickness. Lift up his name high over every circumstances in your life. Lift up his name over that doubt. You're we expecting. Your lift up his name over higher. that contract you're waiting. Lift his name, name over that application higher. you're trusting for. We lift lift up his name over oh, that breakthrough you're trusting him for. That champion. Lift up his name for that. Lift up his name for that wife. Uh. Lift up his name for that new job. Uh. Lift up his name for that financial breakthrough. Lift up his name this morning. Lift him up. Lift him up this morning. Yes, Lord. He said, if you lift, I be lifted up. I will draw all. Men unto me this morning, Lord. We lift your name higher this morning. Our Father, visit all our situation, we visit all our depressing mind. We lift your name high this morning, Lord. We lift your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We lift your name high this morning. We know your name is lifted above all sorrow. Your name is lifted above all problem. Your name is lifted above all sickness. Your name is lifted above all depression. Your name is lifted above all financial problem. Your name is lifted above all those jobless situations. Your name is lifted off those sickness. Your name is lifted. Lifted up that child bearing. Your name is lifted up that husband that we are trusting. Oh, Your name is lifted up that wife that we are trusting. Your name is lifted up for that child that we are bringing in God for breakthrough. Your name is lifted up for that visa that we are trusting. Your name is lifted up for that for that drink that we are trusting. Your name is lifted up for that application we submitted one way or the other for the new job. Your name is lifted up this morning in all circumstances, Lord, and we know all the glory will be returned back to you in the mighty name. Name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As we go into the world this morning, Holy Spirit, we once again Hallelujah. surrender to you. Amen. We cannot do all things by, by ourselves. Nothing. We cannot do anything by ourselves. But with you, we can do all things. We surrender Amen. to you this morning. Holy Amen. Spirit, minister life. Uh, deliver Amen. this morning. Save this Amen. morning. Secure Amen. this morning. In the mighty Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That every deliberators, every contributors, every one that Amen. will be ministering this morning, Holy Spirit, take our mouth and turn it to fire. Amen. If 
a, a, a flame Amen. of fire, a fire that will Amen. burn all hindrances, a fire Amen. that will burn all shaft, a fire Amen. that will burn all depression, a fire Amen. that will burn everything Jesus. that is contrary to your will out of our life Amen. in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, at the end of it, let us return all the glory, receive all Amen. the honor, receive all Amen. the adoration in yes, Jesus' Lord. mighty name we have worshipped. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Welcome morning, once sir. again to the presence of God Almighty. Sir Bridget, we miss you. Welcome back. It's always good to hear I know. your voice I, I miss on the line. I miss Welcome, back, Welcome, <laughs> Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That's our day four in looking at this topic. And I think uh, God is uh, trying to tell us something. If you have to repeat topics, last time that we have topic like this repeated for like five times, uh, I remember that, 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 that God was speaking great things about us, just, just remember and trusting him on certain things. And I believe that God is still expecting us to come out of something, somebody that's in Eden somewhere and the enemy is tormenting in one way or the other. This morning, you will receive your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because depression is a spirit that, that operates by the enemy. And uh, that the, the, the reason why enemy use that depressive mind so effectively is because it creates confusion in the mind of the children of God. And it creates doubt in the mind of those who have been under the attack of this evil one and I uh, call depression as an evil one because it's a demonic spirit that, that actually isolate children of God that children of God feel like they don't need anybody else in their life and anytime that you feel like you don't need anybody else then that's a remedy for a destructive mind and may the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because everyone need one another everyone needs somebody it needs somebody that will be able to say yes whatever you're going through I am here to walk with you yes God said I will not leave you or forsake you but at the same time he always used somebody to represent him in one person or another person's life. And I pray this morning that that spirit of depression, that spirit of isolation, this morning you'll be broken out of it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That you will come alive again, that you will become rejuvenated to, to, to what God wants you to do and rejuvenated to do great things for God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Again, this is a day four that we are addressing this topic. And I pray this morning that God will minister to us. We are looking at this same chapter that we use, the same book of First King. Uh, is, uh, Elijah was uh, is, is our, is our case study for the oath for this. And uh, I believe that God is using his experience to try and teach us something. My only prayer is that, that God will open our eye of understanding, like we prayed this morning in our prayer line, that it, it's, it's good to obey God's voice, but the enablement to see to understand and to hear God is paramount. Because how can you obey something that you do not get familiar with? How can you abide by the things that you are not used to? How can you obey somebody that you do not have respect for or have, have, have reference for? Uh, it's gonna be difficult to obey that person. So often we obey the flesh because we, we reference the flesh. We're afraid of the flesh dying. We are so conscious of, uh, if I do this, if I do that, we see ourselves in things. Instead of say, seeing God in, uh, if I do this, what will God think of what I'm about to do? So today we will look at what God did with Elijah. And that text again is still in that book of First King. First King chapter, chapter 19. We will look at the verse 15 of that first king today. And um, I pray that God, in his own mighty, infinite power and mercy, will liberate somebody this morning. It, I say it will set somebody free this morning. Uh, it will remove somebody from the depressive mind this morning. And it will send a heart of freedom into that person that's been held captive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the enemy only come to do one thing, to kill, to kill, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And that same reason why he came, God sent Jesus Christ to come and destroy all the works of the enemy. And our only belief 
If only we believe that, yes, Jesus has come to do that purpose, to destroy that work of the devil, then we can see the miracle of him that have power over every situation in our lives. So let's read. I want to read from, uh, yesterday we read verse 13. Uh, we started, we read, we, we concentrated on verse 14. I want to continue from that verse 11, I'm sorry, verse 11 to 15 today. And uh, we read 1 King chapter 19 from verse 11. 1 King chapter 19 from verse 11. He said, the Lord said, go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord. For the Lord is about to pass by. The Lord is about to pass by. And whoever is listening this morning that you're still in that depression, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get out of that depressive mind and open your mind up because God is about to visit you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Then a great powerful wind come through, tore the mountain apart and shattered it. The rock before the Lord and the, the rock before the Lord, but the Lord wasn't in need in that way. So what, when you get up right now, you may get heat to go back. But listen, just don't worry. Get up. That's what you need to do. Just get up. Don't pay attention to that way. Don't pay attention to what wants to push you down. Stand on your feet and stand on it now. Get up. Get up and get out of that depressive, depressive mind. The wind, then come. Earthquake, then come. But the Lord wasn't in the earthquake either. After the earthquake came, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came, a gentle whisper. Uh, listen, listen, hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My thought for you, the of good, not of evil, and to give you a expected end. Whatever has been giving you sorrow, that is not the thought of the Lord. Whatever has been dramatizing your life, it's not from the Lord. The goodness of the Lord is that hear this word this morning, the simple voice of the Lord say, my thought for you, the thought of good, not of evil. So let go of those earthquakes. Let go of those problems. Let go of those calamities. Let's go of those things that are disrupting in your mind right now and hear what God said. And after the earthquake stopped, the Lord, what did the Lord say? After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in there. And after the, whisp, the gentle whisper voice that came, when Elijah heard it, as you have heard it now, I said, pull. His clothes over his face. Humble yourself before the Lord and went out and stood on the Monte Cape. Then the voice said to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for you. Yeah, don't make excuses anymore. Just Humble yourself. Don't make excuses anymore that you're still doing mighty work. You can see have the ability because your ability puts you into depression. But now you want to rely upon what God wants you to do. He said, the Israelites have rejected your, con the, 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 your covenants. Turn down your halter and put the prophet to death with the sword. I am the only one left. And now they are trying to kill me too. Don't worry about that because now you have God on your side. Nobody can kill you. The Lord said to him, go back. Go back the way you came. Go back the way you came and go to the desert of Damascus where you, when you get there, anoint as I am. King over Aram. When God wants to change the situation, it doesn't cost him that much. I will read the outline and now we make a little commentary this morning and then I want some contribution to this. Because guess what? Whatever it is that's been holding you back, your deliverance is here now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has been suppressing you down this morning, you receive your deliverance today because the Lord is going to energize you to create a new thing in your life that will change your whole entire circumstances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I read the outline. He said, let God give you a new direction. Let God give you a new direction. Let God give you a new direction. God told Elijah to go to the desert and of Damascus and anoint a new king and all the new and also a new prophet to take over from him. God is going to relieve him of those burden that he's been going through. All those trouble, all those wahala, all those depressive situations. Today, God is going to relieve you out of it and is going to help you to stand on your feet to do great work for him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In other words, he gave Elijah a new assignment. Try to avoid spending too much time focused on self-pity. Get out of it. Oh, yeah, they want to kill me. I have done that. I've done this. I've done that. Look at, stop pitying yourself. Get up. Get out of it, of that pity, self-pity. 
Get your eyes off of yourself and start looking at the need of others. At the needs of others. Elijah only saw that they kill all the prophets. I am the only one now. They want to kill me. The Bible says, he that tried to save his life will lose it at the end. But he that for my sake lose it, will gain it in return. That is the word of the Lord. So get up and start to do something for somebody else that we take over from you, that we allow the baton to be passed and continue the work of God to be flowing. Get out of it. Stop being pitying yourself that you fail. You have not failed. It's because you have not taken the step to do something better for somebody. That's why you find yourself in that situation of thinking that you have not achieved anything. There is a great work of God in you. There is great anointing of God upon your life. And it is time for you to get up and start making use of it and start benefiting other people and let them be that bridge that you will cross others to the place where they need to be. Try to get involved in their life through a ministry where you've given out. Where you're giving out and God is giving through you. If you are constantly looking at yourself, you will get discouraged. You will get discouraged just like he did, like, just like he did. Elijah was looking at himself and he got discouraged all the time because he doesn't think he can face Jezebel. Prophets are being killed. The king that he even helped collided with the people that want to kill him. Even though his interest was for them, but then he shut himself up. Say, I'm not going to help them anymore. I'm just going to go and hide in one place. But whenever trouble arises, that's when God comes in to rescue. God does the, you don't need God when you're not in trouble. But when trouble arises, that's when you wait upon God to start acting on your behalf. Philippians chapter 2, verse 4. Philippians chapter 2, verse 4. Say, do not be interested only in your own life, but be interested in the lives of others. Because that's what you're supposed to do. When you start focusing on yourself, you will only see yourself. And most of the time, we see ourselves thinking that we achieve much, but we still never have enough achievement. And we can never have enough achievement. But when we look at other people, we will be able to see God, opportunity for what God wants us to do. I say every need is an opportunity for me to do what God wants to do. Every time there is a need, I found it as an opportunity for me to be used by God. I'd never throw opportunity out. I never throw away needs out. I always try to make myself available for God so that I can be used to meet the needs. Yes. You say, but I have failed badly and disappointed myself. Surely God must be disappointed with me too. Disappointment only happens when someone expects you to do something different from what you do. That's when disappointment occurs. You do something different, and what they expected is not what you do. Then disappointment came in. But guess what? Jesus knew Peter would deny him. Jesus was, will be disappointed later, but what did he do? He went ahead and prayed for Peter before the time comes. He knew Peter was going to disappoint him, but he called him anyway. Why? Because he knew Peter would learn and grow through the experience and go on to even greater things. The mistake you made yesterday, don't sit on it. Don't let it beat you down. Don't let it keep you down. God is saying, yes, learn out of it, move out of it, and trust God to continue to build bridge for you to cross over. And when you're crossing over, take as many with you so that when you get to the other side, there is plenty of opportunity available to everybody to be able to touch lives that they come in contact with. Peter did go ahead and do what he needs to do. Greater things. God wants to give you a new purpose and a new direction. It is not finished with you yet. So get out of that depressive mind. Get out of your isolation, then depression will be vanished. Oh, I don't want them to see me because I failed. Oh, I'm going to hide because if they find out what's happening, they are going to say things. Who cares what they say? What is God saying to you? 
Like we learned yesterday in our Bible study, relationship with God only make you better. It doesn't make you condemn. God never condemn you. Also, do not condemn yourself. When you are in relationship with God, God only make things better for you. He give you new purpose. He give you new direction. And he give you new thing to do. Because in his presence, there's always an excitement to do great things. Because in his presence, there is fullness of joy. It's not finished with you yet. Maybe you blew it, yes, so big deal. If you let him, God will pick you up and help you to start over. One mistake or hundred of them doesn't render you useless for life. No, it doesn't. It shouldn't. It will not because you have Christ in you. So get up and let growth take over your life. So today, God wants you to lift you out of depression. And if you're going through that moment, I want you to open your mouth wherever you are, listening, hearing, or you will hear later. Speak to yourself that I am getting out of this depression in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It can help. God is the only one that can help. It can change you. You don't have to go through life being manipulated by your emotion. Be manipulated by the devil. That is what it does. It will capitalize on your mistake and it will start playing it in your head. But what you need to do, you need to submit your, your, your thoughts to God. In the Romans chapter 12, verse 2, say, I do, do, do not confine to that thing that the devil is saying that you make mistake. Romans 12, verse 12, 2. Say, don't confine to it the mistake that you made. The world will tell you that it's wrong. But don't confine into it. But instead, be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind by what God say concerning you. That way, righteousness a righteous man in my fall one time. In my fall seven times, but God will lift him back up. Your emotion cannot be affected if by your thought. And with God's help, you can change how you think and what you think about. Let your delight be in the Lord. Let your delight be in the Lord. Like Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 said, let this word that I've spoken to you meditate in me day and night. Meditate in me day and night. Don't let it come out of your mouth. Yeah, that keep that book, that keep the word of God in your mind. Let it be fresh. Let it be always new on your lip. Keep it on your lip. Meditate in it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything that is written in it. Even when depression comes, what is written in your mind, depression will not have room in there because you're loaded with the, with the king of kings. You're loaded. Your mind is loaded with the Lord of Lord. Your mind is loaded with the things that bring joy, that bring life, that bring everlasting joy. That's what you're loaded up. So success will definitely be yours. Yeah, even if the storm comes, you will know because you have God with you. You cannot go with the storm. Even when the rain falls, you will know that, yes, even the wetness of the rain cannot get you sick. That is what the word of God will do for you. Success and prosperity will be what you will be guided by. So give God everything that you have and you will see him manifest his power in your life. The reason why we still struggle with those things because we have never allowed him to have control. Let him change your thinking process. Let him change what you're doing. However, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord, it's time for you to taste him, to see that he can take you out of depression. He can help you out of the isolation. He can help you with a new beginning. He can help you to have a fresh start. So anything that you're doing will be Okay. Psalm 34, verse 8 say, taste the Lord. Psalm 30, 30, 30, 30, 34, verse 8 say, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who take refuge in him. You have been on your home. You've been doing things on your own. Today, you're in isolation. Tomorrow, you have a little beer and little uh, alcohol there for you to bubble up. And when that thing wear down, you go back into your isolation. That's not helping. Just ask God, I need help. Forgive me, I am a sinner. Come into my life, take over my life, take over my emotion, take over everything that's affecting my thought. Come and be the Lord over my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior because you died for me, you rose for me. Jesus, you are Lord. Say that prayer, Want to say that prayer. Jesus will come, Holy Spirit will come into your heart and it will start helping you to have 
your emotion under check and replace your thought with the goodness of God and help you to change your thinking process and start walking in the way that God wants you to walk. And uh, look for a church close to you, a Bible-believing church. Tell them you just became born again. The pastor will work with you. All the workers in the church will work with you. If you, if you can't find a church, go to rccg.org. You will find the redeemed Christian church of God. Walk in there, tell the pastor you just became born again and you want to know more about God and they will be glad to work with you. The rest of us, the only thing that can take us out of this depressive mind is to delight in the Lord. As Psalm 37 verse 4 said, Psalm 37 verse 4 said, he said, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desire of your heart. Those things that are heavy in your heart, delight in the Lord. God will do it. When you lift God up in your heart, everything that looks depressive, they will fly out. Everything that looks oppressive, they will surrender. Everything that's tormenting your emotion, they will get clear. And God can have total way of his, of his commitment to you. And God will help us. Because in verse 5 of it, says, commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him. And he will what? Do what? He will do a lot of things for you. It will make you righteous reward shine like a dawn your vindication like a noonday like sun so that's the word for us today that take delight in the lord give your desire to his to him and it will fulfill your own desire may god bless you uh, if anybody want to contribute this morning well, welcome to contribute now after the contribution i'm going to ask sister bridget to pray for us this morning Thank you, everybody. Thank you for listening. And uh, please share this with friends and family. A lot of people are having struggle in their mind. They don't know which direction to go, but the direction for everyone that's struggling, one way or the other, whether in depressive one, whether in the need way, whether in the emotional way, this morning we pray in the name of Jesus that God will visit you. As he visited Elijah and he set Elijah free from his depression, God will visit you and he will set you free from your depression in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everybody. Line is open for contribution. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> we just thank God for giving us food this morning. We thank God for the fat things that he has given to us to eat this morning. We just bless him. We thank him for speaking to us through his servants. We worship thank you, Lord. our God with blessing. Thank you. Lord. You know. So, you know, it, it, it is clear, it is clear, you know, the solution to life challenges and problem is only found in Christ. Right. Yes. yes. He is the door. Yes. That's what he told us in John 10. He said, yes. I am the door. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, if you go through the door, through Christ Jesus, you find pasture. You find help, you find rest. Mm. No other way. Mm. Mm. No other way. So we find that if we look at the experiences of Elijah, Elijah had power with God. He walked with God. The problem of Elijah was not, uh, it has nothing to do with, uh, uh, you know, falling and rising in sin. No. no. That was not the case with him. No. He had power with God. He did wonder. Mm -hmm. He up to, up to today, we have a larger ministry, that spirit mm -hmm. that was in a larger, that spirit of zeal, a passion for God's glory. And God is also raising an army even in our time yes. with that same passion, yes. with that same zeal. Our reference is being made to a larger. And we see John the Baptist fulfilling that ministry of Elijah in his time mm. because he prepared the way for the Lord, mm. the Lord Jesus. Mm. So God is also raising army. The mm. army God is raising, he have a people that must be strong. Mm. We must be strong. Then we see it in the life of our Lord Jesus. Yes. Isaiah 50, verse 7 says, Isaiah 50, verse 7, we see what the Lord Jesus Christ said. He said, for the Lord God will help me. Hmm. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a fleet, hmm. and I know I shall not be ashamed. Hmm. 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 
So that is the kind of attitude that God wants to develop in us at this time. Mm. The kind of attitude to be resolved, to be resolute. Hallelujah. You know, to, 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 to be rugged. Mm. God wants us to be rugged. Mm. God wants us to, to be strong, mm. not to give into emotions mm. or to situation around us. God does not want us to be defeated by situation and conditions around us. He wants us to be strong. So he's preparing us for the days ahead. Mm. Because when we look at today's topic, we'll see all, you know, this is the fourth uh, part four concerning Elijah. There is something that the Lord is speaking to us through the life of Elijah. His experiences, because he came to a point where he was discouraged mm. and he was fainting mm. because of the threat Jezebel made mm. to his life. Mm. But God, God, you can see what happened. God said, okay, Elijah, you are tired. Okay, you are weary. Okay, fine. You have tried. Mm. But I'm going to take this mantle away from you to another. That shall not be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shall not be our portion. We shall not come to the point mm. where that thing that God has given to us, God is not God, did he didn't condemn him. Mm -mm. But that mantle was not shifted to another. Mm. Because he felt that Elijah, because Elijah said, I'm the only one that is left. Mm. They have killed all your prophet. God said, No, you are making a mistake. I have my 7,000 prophets that have not bowed their knees to idol, to yeah, bow. Yeah. So what we need, brethren, is strength. Mm. Anybody listening on, on, you know, that is on this platform this morning, God is speaking to you, speaking to me. We need strength. And the strength can only come from God. Yeah. Like, the, you know, the pastor talk about the father, I said, who you hear? Who do you listen to? What do you hear? Your, your strength can only come from his presence, Hallelujah. through his word, Hallelujah. trusting in him, believing in him. Hallelujah. As long as we're in this flesh, mm -hmm. we are bound. There is a tendency to be weary. There is a tendency to be discouraged. There are things that will come to discourage, but we must know that it's not about us. Mm -hmm. It's about who is in us. Mm -hmm. Sammy say, even though I fall seven times, mm -hmm. I will arise. Yes. There, there, there is a tendency to fall. Mm -hmm. There is a tendency to be weary. Mm -hmm. When we say, when I, when I say fall, it, it, I'm not talking about all those things that should not be named among us. That's not what I'm talking about. Even if that happens, there is provision in the blood. Yes. There is provision. Is a blood, he never loses his power, he never loses his potency to save to deliver mm. so we must we must have this consciousness that jesus is the propitiation for the sin of the world mm -hmm. the bible say if we confess our sin so that provision is there yes but this what we are dealing on today it has to do with be weary mm. be tired mm. you know giving up no we should not give up yes. in the face of opposition in the face of contradictions God wants us to be strong. And that is why I refer also to Isaiah 57. The Lord Jesus Christ, you know, you, you remember there was a point, a, 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 a point in his, his, his mission on earth where he said, Lord, he, he, let this call be taken away from me. Mm. Because he has seen in the spirit what he was going to go through. Mm. He, see, he saw the humiliation. The Bible says, he was mild. His body was mild beyond, beyond recognition. These kings were off. He was battered. He has seen it. But he said, Lord, not my way, but your way. And the Bible said the angels came and strengthened him. So in any crisis situation we find ourselves, help will always come to us as we call upon God's name. Lord, I need your help. You know, sometimes I, I cry a lot. I cry in the presence of God. The cry is not, oh God, I'm, I'm in a hopeless situation. You cannot help me, no. It's in appreciation of accepting my weaknesses, mm. accepting my limitations. Mm. 
and crying out unto him, Lord, you are the only one that can help me in this situation. I need your help. Mm. So we should always know that the Lord Jesus is our high priest that is taught with the feelings of our infirmities. Mm. No matter the limitation, Christ has gone through it and is there to help us, to strengthen us, to help us. I, I, you know, apart from the reference to a place in uh, Isaiah 37, I just want to read something from that Isaiah 37, you know, that, that will help us this morning, just in addition to what Pastor has already said. From 23, they say, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. The Lord delight in our way. Yes. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the law upholds him with his hands. Yes. The law will always uphold, even though we fall, he will help us. We, he will not abandon us. He said, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. The topic, the, the passage says, if you make mistake once or even a hundred times, brother, you can you see it? He said, even if only a hundred times you fall, you make mistake. God will help you. Amen. God will not, will not, will not, will not ignore you. Mm. God will not forsake mm. you because we have a high priest that is taught with the feelings of our infirmities. It's a good God. <laughs> Remember the song that Pastor brought up? We lift him higher. Jesus is lifted above all powers. Mm. All dominion, all true yeah. depression, Alleluia. poverty, Alleluia. sickness, Alleluia. infirmity, yes. disease, yes. depression, yes. whatever. Yes. The Lord Jesus is lifted above yes. all. Yes. But we must recognize, mm. we must appreciate it, mm. we must delight in Him, we must accept who Christ is to us. Mm. To the extent that we yield to him, mm. to the extent that we acknowledge, to the extent that we appreciate, to that extent, we are going to enter into rest Amen. of what God has done for us. God bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for your word, the word that God has brought to us through you. Thank God. And I pray that help will come to each and every one of us. Amen. Every person that will listen to this message in the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. help will come to you. Amen. There is no room for depression. Yes. There is so, no room for self-rejection. Yes. There is no room for self-pity. Yes. We don't have to pity ourselves yes. because the Lord Jesus has secured our peace. Yes. He has secured our joy. Yes. He has secured all that we need yes. in this world. He has secured yes. it for us in the name of Jesus. Yes. The Bible says it's said Second Peter chapter 1, verse 5, that Lord, the Lord has given us all things that pertain to this world to, to, and to godliness. Yeah, godliness. We have been made to be partaker of yeah. divine, yeah. divine nature. Mm. He has provided all that we need mm. that is our present inheritance. Yes. Yes. Divine health is our present yes. inheritance. Abundant yes. life is our present inheritance. Yes, Peace yes, and joy is our present inheritance. Yes, the Lord Jesus has secured all for us. Yes, it is for us to know what Jesus has yes, given to yes, us yes. And, and stand by it and say no to Satan. Yes, Lord. We say no to Satan. Yes. You cannot come here. Christ has paid for it. He used his blood to pay for, for my yes, peace, for yes, my joy, for yes. my life, for abundant yes, life, for yes. divine health. Yes, yes he yes. paid for it. You cannot take it from me. No. We must know that truth and, 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 and know how to fight a good fight of faith. Mm. That is the fighting a good fight of it because what Christ has done for me, Satan cannot stop me yes. from entry oh, into no the benefit and enjoyment of it. God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for that uh, proclamation. And uh, the Lord bless us all in the name of Jesus. Because it's very important that we know that God is not sleeping, neither is his slumber. It's God that uh, is a sovereign God and he loves us so much. He wants us to just, all he's expecting of us is just to surrender to him. Uh, if we open his ear, it will hear us whenever we call and he never sleep or slumber concerning us. And uh, he will help us through everything else in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Any other contribution this morning? Thank you very much, uh, Bridget. 
you know, uh, the depression, it's always, it's only, it, it causes, um, the people get into depression because they feel pity for themselves and they look down on themselves. Oh, and they start worrying about what people will say. They start worrying about what others will say. They forget about that the word of God in concerning their life is more important than what people say. You know, Sabrina just read that book of Isaiah chapter 50. Go and read it, go and read it. Uh, God, God was telling Isaiah that he said, I offer my cheek back to those who pull my hair off. You know, somebody that pull my hair, I go back to them and say, yeah, go ahead and pull more. I offer my cheek to them. I don't even hide my face from the mocker and the spitter. The devil will tell you that what you, you know, you start going into shame. But God said that when I am in you, your shame avoid on the cross. Yeah, this, the, the chastisement of your peace was on him. Your sorrow, he bore it. All of those things, all those things that can make you become shameful. He already nailed them to the cross. So get out of that depression. Don't let that depression put you down. Get out of it because God already paid the price for you. So today you tell yourself, get up and get out because God is ready to make good new things for you and put you back in shape that people will come back to say, ah, wow, we miss you. Thank you for coming out. You're making difference again. You're making life changes again because the power of God has come into operation in you because verse seven said, because the sovereign Lord, the sovereign Lord will help you. It will not, you will, you will not be disgraced. Therefore, it will help, it will, it will set your face like a flint. But you know, what else? What else do you want? What else do you want? That's a word. That is a word that you need to hold on to and get out of that shameful situation and accept the celebration of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. If there's no other contribution, Sister Bridget, please uh, wrap up for us, please. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We still have time. Any other uh, contribution? If not, we pray. Thank you, everybody. So, <laughs> okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you. Thank you, Lord. We magnify your name. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your good will, mm. your good thoughts towards man, thank towards you. humanity. Thank you. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the provisions that you have made available for humanity. The Bible says Jesus is our advocate. Jesus is yes. a propitiation yes. for the sin of the world. Mm. The Bible says there is no any other name given from heaven among men whereby man must be saved. It's only through the name of Jesus that man can find solution to life and be saved. But we thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you have done for us. Yes, you gave your life as ransom for the sin of the world. We are grateful to you. Thank you, Lord. You brought us back to God Thank you, Lord. from our far country, Thank from you. our sin, from depression, from poverty, from Thank penury. You. Thank you. You reconcile us back Thank to you. God by your blood. Thank you. We thank you. We bless your name. We, we appreciate you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your word that you have brought to us this thank morning you, to you. encourage us, to, 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 to further reaffirm that you, you are always there for us, yes, Lord. that you will never leave us, you will never yes, forsake Lord. us. Yes, Lord. In spite of our limitations, thank our weaknesses, you. Thank you. you are always there to help thank us, you. oh God, thank because you. you pass through all, you know, thank you, you know our limitations, you know you. our weaknesses. Thank you, the Bible says oh, that as the father pities his children, mm. so the Lord pities them that fear him. Mm. In other words, even when we fall, mm. even when we, are, we, we, we have one challenge or the other, you are always there to help us. You, you pity Thank us. You, you do not forsake us. You yes, do not Lord. leave us yes, in, our, in our challenges, yes, in our problems. Lord, we give you all the glory. Hallelujah. You are a great God and a yes, great King. Yes, you yes, are a good Father, yes, compassionate Lord. Father, merciful Father. Yes, Who will not love you, Father? The Bible says, "No wonder the veggies they love you, they love you, they love your palace." You are a good God. Yes, we bless your name this morning. Thank 
We thank you for everyone that is connected to this line at this moment. We thank you for their life. Those who could not connect, Father, we bless them in the name of the Lord Jesus. We ask, oh God, a portion be sent to them, Lord. Your people are blessed. Your people are lifted. We are blessed and lifted out of shame, out of sorrow, out of calamity, out of poverty, out of sicknesses, infirmities, and diseases, out of oppression. We are lifted. We are lifted above all because you have lifted us in the name of Jesus. You have enlarged our mouth over our enemies. All that encompasses against souls they are brought down the by the blood of the lamb in the Lord name of jesus. jesus we receive grace father the to walk faithfully jesus. we receive grace to jesus. love you we receive grace to say no yes, to satan yes, to say no to depression yes, to say no to self-pity yes, to say no to self-rejection yes, to say no to the oppression yes, of the yes, enemy yes, we, yes, we receive grace to say no to that sickness, infirmities, and disease. We say we receive grace to stand upon yes. the promises of yes. God. Yes. All that you have done for us. We yes. receive grace to stand upon it. Yes. I enjoy the dividend of yes. the cross yes. in the mighty name of the Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. We thank bless you. your name. We, we, we lift all the blood of the Lamb. Lord of Jesus. The Bible says, in the evening time, there shall be light. Yes. Father, the time that we are in, oh God, things are getting, the time, oh God, that has set it, things are getting darker mm. and darker. Mm. But even in the midst of the darkness, you say your glory shall stand upon Amen. us. Your glory shall be revealed in us, oh God, Father. Yes, even by the reason of your glory upon our life, with our cooperation, working faithfully with you, the Gentiles, they will see the light, they will be drawn to it Amen. in the mighty name of the Amen. Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We receive grace. We receive strength for the time that are coming in, that are setting in. We shall not faint. We Amen. shall not cry. They are cry because Amen. your words say that the, by the reason of the things that will be happening upon the earth, the heart of men will fail them. Amen. Our heart will not fail Lord, because we have an understanding. You will give us understanding. Amen. We shall be stable, Father. Amen. We shall not faint. We shall not be weary. In Amen. the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. because you will sustain us, you will yes. minister to us, yes, you will Lord. grant us help, yes, you will grant us revelation yes, of what you the prophetic, what yes, you are doing at the moment, the yes, things that are coming upon the earth. Yes, we shall Lord. not be part of them because Amen. we are children of the light, we yes. are not children of darkness. Yes, they that drink, drink at night, we are yes. children of the day. Oh, we will always have understanding oh, of the things that are happening around us. Amen. We receive your grace, we yes. receive enlightenment, we yes. receive strength. Yes. We receive our ability yes. from your presence, yes. oh God, to press in, oh God, yes. until we enter into our inheritance yes, in the mighty name of the Lord the Jesus Christ. Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you we Lord. bless your servant that you have thank used you. To, yes. to, to minister to us, thank Father. You, we cover him with the blood, Lord cover his family Jesus. with the blood, his interest. We take the blood to the boundary yes, of his Lord. land. Yes. We cover, we recover, yes, we, we, we strengthen yes, by the blood of the land that you will continue to strengthen him. You continue to fortify him, Father. Father, for the work that you have assigned unto yes, him, he shall yes, not fall into depression, he shall not cease to prophesy, his office no one shall take, he shall man, fulfill man. it, he shall enter into his spiritual man, destination man. in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus man. Christ. We cover every member of this fellowship with the blood man, of the man, Lamb, Jesus. we cover every member, their hope, their interest, their Lord job, all that pertains to them, Lord we secure Jesus. by the blood of Jesus. No evil shall be for your people, they man. shall not fall into depression, man. they shall not for little depression, Amen. they shall not be oppressed, Father. Let Amen. the blood continually avail for them. Amen. Oh, yeah, the blood of the Lamb. Yes, our Lord. children will cover them with the blood of Jesus. Of Father, Jesus. in the name of the Lord Jesus, our children, oh God, they, 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 they shall not go by the way of the world. In the name, in the of, name of the Lord, they shall know you. They shall Amen. delight in you, Amen. Father. They shall serve you, Father. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, captivate their heart, yes, O oh God. Lord. Arrest them, Father, O oh God. Yes, you are the one that watches over us, Father. Yes, Lord, we Lord. are limited, but you are not limited. Yes. Watch over our children, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We commit the remaining hour of the day to your hand. We plead the blood of the Lamb, Father. Lord Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus. Lord you of say Jesus. our 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 bread is blessed. Yes, you say Lord. our water is blessed. Yes, you say Lord. we are blessed in the city. We are blessed in the in the in the field. As we go out, we are blessed. We come in, we are blessed. This is our inheritance. Yes, this Lord. is your mind for yes, us. Lord. And Lord God Almighty, we say. 
oh, we enter into all the promises. Yep. We enter all the pro promises. Amen. We are preserved. We Amen. are protected. Amen. The evil of the day shall not come like us. The, no place shall come like our dwelling. Amen. By the reason of the blood, we are under Lord the blood. Jesus. Our home under the blood. Our yes. children under the blood. Yes, our Lord. extended family under the blood. Yes, Thank you, Father. Thank Blessed you. be your name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, surely the Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord, of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I am the one, the one that the Lord has blessed. So shall, shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Cover you with the blood of Jesus. May the Lord Amen. keep you. May He shine His face upon you and grant Amen. you peace all around in the name Amen. of Jesus. God bless Amen. you. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. Bye bye. Thank you, Jesus.